Hey, what's up? Um, so, uh, here's another song that a bunch of people requested uh, and asked me to show how to play. So I'm going to play through Asphyxia Fiend. It's off our new record, Antimacy. Um, first things first, uh, if you've ever seen our band play this song live, you probably, or you may have noticed me making a really fucking annoying sound at the beginning, and that is uh, the loop on the record that we have running over the heavy, um, the open hits. Um, so I'm going to go through that. Um, first off, I use a Line 6 M13 to make that loop. Um, so I go to the scene setting. I have my scene pretty much set up already. Um, with that, uh, that loop noise, um, that tone already pr uh, programmed. And what it is is synthomatic on the Line 6. <clears throat> so it's like a synth uh, octave kind of thing and uh, cave reverb it's turned way up and that will make your guitar sound like this so I usually program a couple bars of that um, and that's that so that's how you get that tone We'll need that later on. Um, so yeah, at the beginning of our set, whenever I play that, I program that loop before I play the song. So I go to my loop control when we're playing, and I just hit it when we're playing, uh, and I can play my guitar over top of it. So um, yeah, so that's first and foremost. <clears throat> and that's just... Uh... That guy. So with that crazy effect on it. So, um, yeah, other than that, uh, we'll get through the song. Um, so for the intro of the song, uh, it is just pretty much an alteration. It alternates between open and tuned to C, G, C, F, A, D. Um, open, and then on the third fret, um, G and B strings we're playing. So, so it's, uh, yeah, open. That guy. One, four. So it just goes back and forth between those. Two. So that's that part. Um, and again, that repeats a million times in the song. It's kind of the the base of the song. So that happens uh, every verse pretty much. Um, so that happens a couple times, and then it. Uh, Moves up, picks up double time, and uh, goes a little bit like this. <laughs> Roughly. Um, so, yeah. What those guys are, eight, five, seven, back to five, and then uh, again um, on the G and B string, um, it's on the sixth fret this time. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, um, so that's pretty much the verse. It's the two parts of the verse covered. Um, and then right after that, um, Seb plays this part live, but, uh, it's pretty much just a little pre-chorus. Um. And all that is, is uh, I think, eight on the D string, nine on the G string, and six on your B string, um, if you're going E, D, G, wait, yeah, whatever, I don't know. Regular guitar tuning, I'm all fucked up right now. So it's just those guys, and then it drops down to seven. So it's just those dudes. Um, just one guitar. Um, yeah, so uh, that's, uh, yeah, E, A, D, G, B, E. So those are just uh, on your lower, on your, well, higher strings. Um, so that's pretty much that pattern. And then uh, the chorus, um, one guitar, all it does is play bars eight, and instead of a regular bar with a, an octave, you just drop that down on the uh, G to yeah. So yeah, that's all it 
all it is. <laughs> So yeah, um, getting to those octave parts, um, it's on this, and then open, oct octave on five, open octave on eight. So uh, yeah, so it pretty much sounds like this one's all together. So that's the one guitar part. The second guitar part um, is a lead. I usually play that. Um, and all that is, um, is, let me see. It's, uh, yeah, so it's seven on the G string, five on the B string, six on the B string, five on E for the first. Uh, for the first run through, and I just use a ping pong delay on that usually. Uh, I recently switched over to that from a digital delay, um, but uh, yeah, so that's that. And then on uh, the last, the second time through that, um, the last note just changes to eight on your E string. So it goes. And then I also play. Um, I pretty much match what Sebastian plays on the rhythm when he does the Except I just play all the octaves on 12 So my complete part sounds like this So that's all that is minus me playing the wrong effect <laughs> right there but uh, yeah, so that's um, that's the chorus. It's a little bit weird. Both guitars are playing something different, but they uh, kind of goes together really well. So we kind of came up with that shit in the studio, and it sounded cool. So we just did it. <clears throat> so yeah, so that's the uh, chorus again. Sebastian's part or the the main rhythm part is. <laughs> That's all the choruses, um, and then again, it just kind of goes over and over again that way. Um, it pretty much just leaves the heavy open hit part with that uh, synth underneath it. Um, so yeah, pretty much all it is is. And then that just goes back into the pre-chorus uh, that this guy. Um, so yeah, whenever that happens, it's pretty much, it, it comes, d directly after that comes the uh, pre-chorus uh, riff. The pre-chorus riff pretty much seals off the chorus at the beginning and the end, and at the end of the breakdown. So, uh, so I'll just, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Fuck, it's an easy song. We're not that creative. So, uh, yeah, but again, just for the heavy part, it's... <laughs> 